proctologist says to the gynecologist, Do you believe her? <laughs> Nathan, did you forget to take your medication again? Uh, Andy Silverman, uh, thank you very much. You've been a, a great audience. Sandy Silverman. Sandy Silverman, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him, huh? We have a very special guest in the audience tonight, a very special man I want to introduce, local celebrity. Put your hands together for city councilman, Mr. Phil Jones. All right, Phil Jones, good to see you. Phil's running for re-election uh, again this fall. What's the matter? Didn't hurt enough the first time? <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm Johnny DiPentino, and uh, this is my club. Thanks for coming out. Come again, bring your friends, bring your family. <laughs> bring your kids, bring your freaking dogs, just bring somebody. I own this joint. Been here a long, long time. We used to pack this place full every night, crammed them in like sardines, didn't matter. But now, something's rotten in the state of Din, Nor, Norwegian, Norwegian, Sweden. Middle East place with a king, I don't know, something. Man, tonight we were killing him, huh? We had Sandy, he's our A-list, right? Myself, my material, nothing. It was like uh, dead people out there, crickets. You could fry tortillas in that kind of silence. But then again, I always hated nachos. What's that smell? I mean, it was like all over the bar, it was on the floor. Ew, and look at my shirt, it's ruined. And it's a Chanel. At least that's what the guy who sold it to me on the street said. What the heck is going on here? When I hired you, you promised to book some of the top acts in the whole region. You were gonna fill my theater, you were gonna put butts in the seats. But now all I got is butt flesh in a bucket. Look. Johnny, nobody will come back. Nobody. They're scared to death. It keeps happening. And frankly, after finding that big lump of bloody flesh in a bucket, I'm quite scared too. You know, Sandy saw something backstage today. What? Sandy? What did he see? He said it was a, some kind of a... What? Some good what? A ghost? No, it was not a ghost. Johnny, he saw a zombie. A movie? A zombie? All right, you're telling me. Johnny DiPentino, who's got a, a club here, who's not making any money, I'm not selling any drinks, I can't keep staff, all right? I'm from Jersey City, I'm getting squeezed by every mob boss from Newark to New Hampshire. You're telling me I got a new problem? And it's a zombie? It's a zombie. A zombie, 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 zombie. Zombie. You think we can make money off a zombie? <laughs> zombie? I ain't no damn zombie. Grunt, groan, grr. Now that's a zombie. I used to work here. I worked regular gigs here too, and I knocked them dead. But old Johnny, Johnny couldn't stand it. I had more last than he did. And when I did, he dropped me like a hot pan of boiling grits. But guess what? Now I'm hitting him where it hurts. <laughs> Sounds like I got a cold now. <laughs> That's it. I'm not a damn zombie. Hey, Johnny.
Penny, have you seen Johnny? No. Bloody hell. Johnny really didn't have it coming to him, but that's not how my boss saw it. Poor bastard, the victim of a zombie. <laughs> and a guy named Guido. It's done. Fine. Shall we have a smoke? Sure thing. Allow me, Councilman Jones. Thank you, Sandy. As I told you, your loyalty to the family would be rewarded. Johnny forgot that. I'll be on my way now. Oh, and Sandy, how'd you like to run a nightclub? Ah, shit. No damn zombie.